and welcome back to part two of my Dollar Tree haul. I did have to end it abruptly, not only because I had to run out of the house, but I also didn't want to overwhelm and make this video, or that previous video, like 20 to 30 minutes long. So, yeah. I told you I was halfway full with this bag, but I also had two other bags that were on the side, so I just compiled them into this bag and also a couple of things are from deals as well I just included them in there but I'll show that last since it's not technically part of the Dollar Tree haul but I got a few things that I do want to share with you guys so let's get right back into where we ended this sorry itch. but um um the next thing that I found at one of my local Dollar Trees is the Acne Free brand and I've actually seen people post these on Instagram, so I really wanted to try them. It's the astringent toner pads, and it comes with 60 pads, so not too bad. I know they do sell this brand at, I believe I saw it at Target and Walmart, so I figured I would pick those up. And also with it being October, it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so Dollar Tree did have a lot of like items towards that that were pink or actually had the breast cancer logo on it so I picked up the eight pack of pens because I love the color pink so I couldn't pass these up and I like that they have the rubberized grip and also I am a server so pens are like gold and go like this <laughs> when it comes to my job so you can never have enough pens so I figured I would pick these up I mean, you get eight for a dollar, which isn't so bad, and they're super cute, too. So I picked up a pair of those, or one of those. <laughs> um, I also uh, found a few movies, because they have been having a, f a couple of movies, or a lot of movie selections, and good movie selections lately. Even Blu-ray, they've had there. They did have a few at mine. There weren't any movies that were I was aware of or ever heard of, so I passed on those. But I did pick up two. Um, I picked up Haven. And Slumdog, Slumdog Millionaire. I've heard a lot of good things about this movie. So I figured, out, I mean, for a dollar, why not? So I picked that up. And then I picked up Haven, which has Orlando Bloom. Hello. He's a hottie. But they said this is from the creators of Crash. So I really liked that movie. Because it had all these different characters. Just, yet they were connected in the weirdest ways. And supposedly this is kind of like the same concept. So I figured I would get that since it's just a dollar. And hello, once again, Orlando Bloom, duh. Picked up those. That's the only movies I picked up because I didn't really see any other ones that I liked or ever heard of. So I didn't want to buy a movie that I didn't like. I also picked up this April Bath and Showers Bally Mango Mandarin Scented Body Scrub. And it smells really good. Like, really good. I need to put this in my shower. Oh my god, I don't even know how the... It does smell very citrusy, but it smells really good. And I love me some mango, so I figured I would give that a try. And it does have, like, those sugar bee crystal kind of looking things. You're probably not going to pick it up here, but it does have that thing where, you know, you scrub your skin. So I figured I would try that out. Another thing I was excited to find at my Dollar Tree because I ran out. Actually, I didn't run out, but I used most of it on one of the packages that I sent to um, Boss Babe J. Is the purple and red lipstick scotch tape. It's by Scotch Tape. And it does bring a hefty amount in there. So for a dollar, I picked up three. <laughs> they did have more. But I picked up three, which is pretty bad because I still have a little bit left of the other one. But like I said, I do like to, um, how you say, revamp my packages or make them look cute. So I figured why not they will get some use out of them. Also, I got some more re Renews It. Um, what is it? The deodorants? Gel air fresheners. That's what they call them. Um, but it's the holiday scents. I, I saw the display and you know you can't pass that up either. I got in Spiced Eggnog. It smells really good. Ugh, I love it. it. Smells delicious. I got salted caramel, which smells amazing too. You know me, my food scented air fresheners. I can't pass those up. Now this one is my favorite, Cranberry Bliss. It just smells like, oh my god, it just smells like sweet berries, but like candy berries. I don't know. It smells amazing. So if you see these, I'm telling you guys, pick some up. They are amazing. They smell so good. 
next things that I purchased were actually from my dogs. And two of them I actually already put in their, um, their treat. Like, I got them, like, a little treat container. So, I already have two of them in there. But, where's the other one? Chickables, they're called. They're little, uh, like, little snacks for dogs. And this one is the Combo Bites Veggie and Cheese Flavor. They're, like, little round things. I have one of these currently in there. This one I was trying to find the other one because this one doesn't, you can't see them. But the other ones I got was for, like, I guess they're for smaller dogs. So I got this for the puppy. Um, and it's a variety strips chicken veggie cheese flavors. They're, like, there's literally, like, right here, sorry. There's little strips in different colors. And uh, I had another one, so I don't know what I did with it, but that's the empty pack that I put away. And then I also came across these pedigree stackers, and this is filet mignon and bacon flavor and they, they're they like long pieces but you can break them off so it comes with five sticks but it's a total of 15 pieces so and I heard that there's actually coupons for these so you can actually end up getting them for free but um, I found them and just picked them up I'm trying to see yeah because I'm usually good at looking at the expiration dates so they don't expire till next year which is awesome so I picked up those for the dogs I picked up a uh, La Bella I'm trying to see if they have this in English. No, it's kidding. It's manzanilla y aloe, which is chamomile and aloe soothing bar. I picked up one of those. They had another one too, but I did not get that one. I think it had something to do with honey. And I also found the um, Sashi and Chic BB Cream. So I figured I would pick that up. But I'm hearing a lot of things where the colors are lighter than you think they're probably going to be. Like, for instance... I got medium because I figured it would be good for my skin tone, but I'm hearing it's lighter than what most mediums would be. So I went back to see if they had a darker color. Unfortunately, they only had like the light slash pale one, I guess they call it. I'm not sure, but I was hoping to find a dark one just in case, but I couldn't find one. So I'm just hoping this works out for me. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. So hopefully I get to try that soon to see if that's true or not. And then I picked up some of the... um what they call these washi tapes I'm trying to find the name for them I got two different ones I got these cute heart rainbow ones and then I got this beautiful um it's like a butterfly lace pattern but it has like a it's like a fall leather kind of look so I just picked up two of those also just to design my packages and stuff I also picked up more of the sassy and chic fashion nails I just got the regular white tip ones I'm actually Probably going to put these on tonight or tomorrow. So I just packed up another pair of those because the other ones broke on me. And then I picked up more glue, of course, because my glue ran out. But I got a different one this time because I heard uh, Boss, Boss Babe J, she said that she preferred this one than the other one. So I figured I would give it a try. I mean, I like the other one, but we'll see how much I like this one more. also came across the frozen sandwich bag so I purchased that for my daughter which I thought was cute I also went ahead and picked up this two pack of um, check button folders because I heard a lot of people saying what they use them for which is a good idea to keep this in the car and put like receipts or your registration and insurance and all that good jazz in there so I figured I would pick it up like a uh, claret claret Slate or State? I'm trying to say. I think it's Clara Slate. She talked about it as well, I believe. There's a few other girls that I do follow here on YouTube that did purchase these and gave ideas what they use them for. So you get two for a dollar. Unfortunately, they're both pink, so it looks like I will be using both of those. So picked up these stamp markers for my daughter, and they have like different um, stamps on each color, like a smiley face, a heart, a star. So it's an eight. Or excuse me, not eight pack, a six pack. So I picked her up those. I also picked up two of the blingy screen protectors. I've been looking for these like crazy because I got the plain pink one and then I saw people posting these or about these on their Instagram. So I had to pick them up and when I found them I got the, they don't really have the colors on there. But this one's like a aqua blue or a light baby blue and then you have this pink which is actually peeking through. So that's it right there. You can't really see it with the glare. There we go. She's a pretty pink color. I actually want to put this on. I was waiting to do this um, to actually open them. So this one's definitely going on 
ASAP. I also ran across this cute ballpoint pen. It's a jeweled ball ballpoint pen and it has the blinging pink and silver crystals. So I thought that was cute because I never picked up that pearl one that everybody was getting. So when I saw this, I was like, yeah, I gotta get that. So it's gonna go in my purse. Got some more Maybelline color tattoos and I got this mainly because um, I do want to do a giveaway. I was going to do a 500 subscriber giveaway, but I might just wait until I reach my 600 subscribers only because I've been slowly but surely purchasing things as well as I got lucky with two of my subscription services. I did have problems with my post office where they lost my packages, but since they found them, I do have now extra products that I really don't need, so I figured I would also put that into it. So I've been collecting things to put into my giveaway. I was going to do a 500 subscriber giveaway, but I think I'm going to wait since I'm so close to reaching 600 at this point. I'm going to wait till I reach 600 and then we'll get that giveaway started. So I did pick up... Um, some more color tattoos. I already picked up these colors for myself. So I have another um, Just Beige and three of the Nude Pinks. Also, I got extras just in case I um, do some more swap mails here or friends swap mails here on um, YouTube or through Instagram and people are looking for these. So I picked up a few extras just to be able to share the love because honestly, I'm not going to need any backups because I barely use the ones I have now. If I use them, I use them rarely and this brings a lot of products. So why be stingy? Share the love. So I got three of those and one of the Just Beige because that's all that was left. I also picked up another USB cable because my new puppy decides that she wants to use <laughs> my charger cable as a chew toy and has chewed holes into it. So I bought a new one of those and I like it because that flat, the flat wire. So I'm hoping it works. I haven't tested it out, but we'll see. So I purchased another one of those. I also been hearing all good things about this Barbie detangler and it's in the scent cotton candy so I got one for my daughter I've been hearing amazing things that this does do a great job detangling hair and she has the worst knots ever so I figured I would give that a try also picked up another Essie nail strip I wanted this one but couldn't find it and then I ran, came across it at one of my Dollar Trees so I figured I would get it and this is in the color shoot for the moon which is a pretty blue color and then it has like silver details on the end. The rest of the stuff is really not really that much important, but <laughs> I picked up three packs of this nice dark pink ribbon and I actually got it because I'm redoing my daughter's room and got the um, square, like a, how do you say, it? it's the one that has like nine squares and I got baskets for the squares, but the baskets are kind of plain so I got some ribbon to jazz those up and add cute little bows. If not, I can always use this for my wedding because that's the color of the pink that I want to use. So regardless, these will get usage out of them. Also picked up some transparent tape. I forgot the reason why I picked this up. I think it's because I needed to tape something. So I figured just to get this because I don't think I have any of these left packing tape. And then also two pack bubble mailers. I did purchase this to mail some friend mail out but I had to end up using a box because I got an item that obviously couldn't fit in here so I figured instead of returning it I would just keep it because I'm sure I'm going to do some more in the future so I want to talk about this also I do want to advise I did do another friend mail here with Marion she is on YouTube I will link her down below as well um but anyhow she got me because I've been looking for the L'Oreal what's it called the Magic Perfecting Base. I've been looking for that for, I'm going to say, over a month now. It's been on my wish list. So I did send her what I was looking for, and she was she did send me one, which I was super stoked to finally get it. So I decided just, you know, I always go to my Dollar Trees. Anyhow, I looked down because they didn't have it hung, and I found them. I'm super, super excited. So, of course, I stocked up. Hello. I bought one, two, three... Four, five. I bought five of them. <laughs> I mean, you never know. You never know or else I could spread the love. So, <laughs> either way. But anyways, I was so excited to see them. I did post a picture on my Instagram because I was super excited to find them. And I picked up five just to have backup. 
Like I said, you never know. <laughs> and then I also said that I did go to Deals, and Deals is kind of similar to Dollar Tree, except that they do have items um, above a dollar, but they are associated with Dollar Tree. First thing I picked up for my daughter were these frozen tissues. I thought it was so super cute. And, I mean, we do use tissues frequently, especially with getting colds around here. And Olaf is in the back. So, it's not bad. You get a six-pack for a dollar. Super cute. I also picked up three of the e.l.f. glitter eyeshadows. I picked up Angel. This was a, one, a, a recommendation. It's upside down, the package. But this was a recommendation by um, Boss Babe J here on YouTube. So, I picked that up for a highlight. And then I saw these colors and thought they were very pretty. I have Cowgirl, which is like a brown color. And it is, does have glitter in them. And then Shopaholic, which is like a deep purple, I'm going to say. Like a plumish color. And it does have glitter. Sorry, this light's not doing it justice. But I picked up three of those. And these were a dollar each. <laughs> that is it. Thanks for sticking with me through these two videos, guys. I do apologize. This is what happens when you wait to film your Dollar Tree hauls so then they end up just becoming a mess in this bag so I figured this would be my new Dollar Tree haul bag where I just put everything in here to haul for you guys but anyways uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on my next video guys hopefully here soon I do want to do swatches on previous makeup that I did get at the Dollar Tree as well as I have gotten a few, like I said, I've done a few friend swaps slash mails, so I do want to share what I got from those, as well as I've, my subscription services just keep on piling up. I just don't film about, fill, film about them, but I'm hoping to get to that as well. I'm just trying to find a happy medium with my schedule and being able to sit down and film. But anyways, until my next video, I will see you guys later. Remember, there's always beauty in saving. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.